Yo, yo, guys, call me today from Off Targets Falcon Prepping. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Gerber Ultimate Fixed Blade. Uh, some people call this the Ultimate Survival Knife. The Gerber Survival Knife, it's got a few different names, but I'm going to refer to it as the Gerber Ultimate Fixed Blade. So, this is a fairly decent bit of kit. I have tested it out a few times, but today I'm going to be doing a review on it. So, there is a first opinions on my channel. I'll put links in the link to that in the description down below if you want to see you know all the details just in more details but quick overview got a full tang blade in there got a fire steel there got a sheath there that does come you can detach this from the sheath there and you can have this you know attached on something else you have a knife sharpener there you have a whistle on the end this can be used as a hammer so that's the Gerber Ulmer fixed blade so let's go over the knife itself. Sorry about that, I've just got the snivels, guys. Uh, so there's the Gerber, Gerber Ultimate Fixed Blade. It's a decent knife. I, I really I think my favourite thing about this knife, do you know, I've been it for a few, uh, I think I've had it for about a year now, to start a few times, is the grip on it. It's really got a comfortable grip, nothing to complain about there. Uh, worst thing is the serrated edge, the sharp edge. I wish it was that just all the way along, but pretty good another thing i like is it's got a 90 degree angle for the fire steel that comes with it all for a separate fire steel but yeah go with it all with fixed blade and before we get into a few i'm just going to tell you the uh, size of it i don't want it to know so let me find it so the total length of this is 25 centimeters blade length is 12 centimeters and the sheath is a blend of plastic and nylon so yeah go over all with fixed blade did the stats on it so I'm on my phone there. So let's go roll the fixed blade. So how I do my reviews on knives, I will first of all cut it, see if I can cut cordage with it. Just a simple little test, you know, you always might need to cut cordage. Then I will split a few different sized pieces of wood so it goes through. And I will also try and get some fine shavings off one of these smaller bits of wood. So first thing, see if we can cut through the cordage. But before I get into that, for anyone who doesn't know how to do my reviews, at the end of this, I will give it a 1 to 5 star rating. So, 1 star being it wasn't worth the money. I paid about 45 or 65 It was a year ago I bought this. But, yeah, I paid, I think it was around about £60 with postage and all that. I paid about £60 for this. So, that's how much I'm going to fire you at. Now, I've had this a year now. As you can see, there is some slight rust on it. I've used this, I think, three times since I've got it. So the fact that it's got rust on it is a bit concerning, but I've got some WD-40 on, I will remove that later. But I didn't take it off just for the purpose to show you that this knife, I guess the metal it's made of, is uh, vulnerable to rust quite early on. So, yeah. Now let's get into it. So first thing, let's see if we can cut through the cordage. This should be the easiest thing for it to do. We'll try the serrated edge first. Serrated edge managed to cut through. And now we'll just see if we can cut through with a blade. And on, I'm going to test it with a, with a piece. It might have been a grip or not. Nope, it seems with the... It's cutting through with that, but not with a blade. Give it one more try. Nope, I'm putting a lot of force on that. This is sharp. I've used it a few times since. So cordage test. Yes, technically it does go through because it is still part of the blade. But now let's bat on some wood. So you go, so we've just got a small piece of wood here. See if we bat on through this one first. So I went through that fairly easy, see there guys. Test that on one more. Got a fairly longer piece here. See if it can go through this one. This is this uh, thinner wood, and we'll try the thicker piece. Grip on it. Just seems to be feeding off to the side, but it is splitting through it. Give it one more try on this wood from this side. So 
So there we go. Went through that. A piece of wood with these, and I'm going to try the thicker piece. You see, <laughs> back in that, it's done a lot of damage to the piece of wood, but yeah, it's just a bad song to use real quick. So now we've got the thicker piece of wood I'm going to try and come from. This angle, this is more to stress test it. I could come from the easy side, but we'll, I might actually have to I'll try, I'll try and see if we can get an angle. Might break this stick first. Try a different one. Seems to be getting indented in. Try it from the other side. Bit uh, I mean, I know it's got the knots to go through there, but still, for a Gerby, you'd expect it to go through that. The wood's very soft, before it's very light anyway. It is still. I think it's an off-cut from about a week or two ago. But well, I'll try the other way. I'm breaking my baton like mad. Just going off, fearing off to the side again. Yeah, but hey, just for some reason it can't get through that. Maybe it's the knots, so I have got the same uh, pretty much length of wood, small little piece. This was going to be the easy option, so I'm just going to test out on that now. See if it goes through this. I'll give it the knots, you know, the benefit of the doubt on it being the knots in the tree. If it doesn't go through this one now. It's not even getting seated in there. Gerber, I'd expect it, you know, even something that's not necessarily the best the best Gerber knife to be able to do something like this. My, my buck or Laplander would be be through here by now. And that's a 15 quid knife at the moment. That seems to be getting in now. So is it that we've got anything better to use as a baton? I don't know if really. These sticks will do the job anyway, I'm not going to blame it on the sticks. I'm using to hit it in. I will use the heavy one, say that in. If you don't go through now though, I'm gonna call. Okay, it's starting to get seared. Right, I'll see if we can get a better whack at it now with this one. No, that is just just not going through. That's really concerning that that's a Gerber. It's not going through. Now, people in the, I know there's going to be people in the comments who like this knife and they're going to critique my uh, Batongin, but I have done it with uh, harder wood with this with my Bocco Laplander, crapper Batongs, and they've gone through. There's plenty of views on my channel on my knives. You go check them out. But this one just does not seem to get be able to get through that piece of wood. There's no knots in that one. So um <coughs> I'm gonna call it. On that on the batongin, it can get through the small pieces of wood, easy peasy, but it seems to not be able to get through the bigger ones. So what we're gonna do now is just see if we can get some fine shavings off it. Now 
Now another thing I should state is I've not really sharpened this except for with a little knife sharp that comes on the sheath once or twice since I've got it. So this as is as it come out of the box. So that you that is that is a factor. Yes, you have seen it here. He's getting some. Easy with the serrated edge, saw so edge. Yeah, with the uh, the knife bit, probably need sharpening. I'll give it benefit of the doubt there with uh, getting the fine shavings. But with the serrated edge, you seem to be getting through fairly easy. So um, I'm going to go over the positives first. So the positives for this knife, um, there's very little damage. There's like no damage on the blade, so the blade quality against tough stuff. It's decent. Uh, the 90 degree, the 90 degree angle is full tang. Hammer on the end. It's a good bit of kit. I'm not going to hate it. And this isn't my go-to bushcraft. This isn't my go-to bushcraft knife in my bug out bag. So my buckle lap blender, sorry, my uh, Mora companion is, would be my go-to bushcraft knife. I know that one works. It's a top bit of kit. So this for a secondary, some smaller wood. Do you know? This might be better for stuff like skin and animal stuff along them lines. But yeah, I'm really surprised it can't go through these pieces of wood. Fine shavings, cordage, and the small pieces of wood. It does without no trouble. So as a backup to my main one, definitely serves a purpose. For that, I'm value for money. I'm only going to give this three stars because it's still a top bit of kit. It is definitely still a top bit of kit. But a knife that cost me around about... £30 cheaper at least uh, does a better job in my opinion so yeah so five stars and value for money would I trust this if it was all I had in a situation and need to use it for let's say a week bushcrafting and stuff doing stuff like that yes and no yes I trust it do anything up into that wood basically any small little you know gathering quick fire starting things yeah 100% I probably trust it but not for bigger wood uh, Taking into account the fact that it hasn't been sharpened more than a couple of times a little bit on the sharpener that comes with it. Take that into account. That said, I probably would I probably would trust this for 24 hours if it was all I'd only need a small fire. But for a week of processing, do you know, wood, no, I would not trust it. Three stars and five for money. So I'm not saying pick this up. I'm not saying pick this up. I'm not saying don't pick this up. That's your personal choice. I'm just saying three stars on this item. Uh, now that I've tested it, my first opinion, my first initial opinions, the link in the description down below to that video, might have been a bit different. But that's more or less it, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like, all that good stuff. Peace. <laughs>